obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD is a serious lung disease which kills more than 3 million people across the globe every year, of which 1 million people die in India alone. Tobacco smoking is one of the leading causes for this disease. But you know what? Air pollution is the top risk factor for COPD. With the increasing level of air pollution across the globe, it won't be surprising if it becomes number one cause of death and disabilities in near future. It's shocking, isn't it? In this video, we'll be talking about the causes of COPD and understand the ways in which we can prevent ourselves and our loved ones from this deadly disease. In the previous video, we discussed how COPD blocks the airways of the lungs and makes it really difficult for a patient to breathe. We talked about the symptoms of COPD that everyone should be aware of because this disease can affect anyone at any age. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can click on the i button and watch it now. If you are new to our channel, may I ask that once you finish watching this video and you think you like this video, do consider watching our other sciencey videos. We make science based videos just like this one where we talk about things that everyone should be aware of. All our videos are backed up by thorough analysis of scientifically proven data from across the world. We provide our primary sources of information in the description of every video so that you know that we can be trusted. So, if you are someone who wants to stay aware and logical in this era of fake news and misinformation, we are very sure that you are going to love our other videos. Consider subscribing to our channel Sciency Soup. Now, let's jump into today's topic. COPD is a long-term condition where lung tissues are damaged and the airways are blocked. This damage is caused by a prolonged exposure to smoke, toxic substance and harmful gases resulting in severe lung inflammation. While in rural areas, smoke from burning of coal, wood or cow dung is a primary cause of COPD, smoking cigarette is a major cause in urban areas. Even those who don't smoke themselves but are passively exposed to tobacco smoke are also at a significantly high risk of developing this condition. We don't want to scare you but you may get COPD even if you think you don't get exposed to tobacco smoke because research studies across the world suggest that outdoor air pollution is the biggest cause of COPD. Exhaust from vehicles and industrial units, fumes, dust, smoke from burning of crops and fireworks are the major source of air pollution. If you don't smoke or usually don't go out quite often, you should know that some indoor air pollutants may also cause COPD. Yes, depending on our household activities, we have varying levels of indoor pollutants in our homes. Some primary sources of indoor pollution are incense sticks, mosquito coils, aerosol solutions such as deodorant and room fresheners, some cleaning solutions and old unmaintained air conditioners. So now you know what COPD is and what causes it. The next question is how can we prevent ourselves from this deadly disease? First of all, quit smoking if you do. According to the British Lung Foundation, every one out of four long-term smokers will get COPD later in their life. To avoid passive smoking or secondhand smoking, don't be with smokers when they are smoking. Use air masks when you are going out in highly polluted areas. Avoid using mosquito coils and aerosol based repellents. Use mosquito nets instead. Avoid using dhubatti and agarbatti or at least keep the doors and windows open when you are using them. Avoid using aerosol based deodorants and perfumes. Use non aerosol ones. The same applies for room fresheners. Most of you may not be using coal and wood for cooking, but if you know someone who does this, let them know about the hazards of burning biomass. Ask them to use masks and keep the windows of the kitchen open while cooking. That was all about COPD, its causes and prevention. If you have any questions or doubts in your mind, let us know in the comments and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Please share this information with everyone and make everyone aware. Let's together fight COPD and make this world COPD free. To support our work, please like this video and subscribe to our channel Sciency Soup. You know what? On YouTube, subscribing, liking, sharing is all free. So go ahead and support us and we will keep bringing science to you in very simple language. Because if science is not your cup of tea, here comes your bowl of Sciency Soup. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay curious.
Here on Sciency Soup, we give simplified scientific explanations of things that happen around us all the time. We debunk myths, misinformation and misunderstandings based on scientifically proven facts. We feed curious minds who always love to question. In short, we talk about science that matters. If you are one of those curious minds, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest to explore more.